Good morning or good lunch or whatever you say. <laughs> good day. Uh, welcome to URLs and Joomla, how to get it right. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, my uh, most beloved topic, URLs and Joomla, how to uh, yeah, waste your life away. Um, let me just there. Um, first of all, a little bit about me. I am Hannes Papenberg. Um, I'm a freelancer. Uh, and a long-time Joomla contributor. Um, I've been with the project since basically uh, 2005. Uh, I'm from Münster, Germany, and uh, this is my website. Um, in this talk, we are going to uh, talk about um, how to update your old component router, um, how to modify existing routers for your site, and what, to do, uh, what not to do anymore. Um, Especially important, this is kind of a, a complex topic, so if you have a question, ask right away. Uh, don't wait uh, till the end. Um, we will have a, a, um, a Q&A at the end. Um, yeah, first of all, uh, we have a, a slightly newer uh, um, component routing system uh, since Joomla 3.3. And um, we are all, uh, we, we, um, a lot of people are using it since Joomla 3.8. Um, as a slight reminder of the past, um, in, in the past we had routers that basically consisted of two functions, uh, component name build route and uh, component name pass route. And those uh, took some input and returned something and um, it was kind of spaghetti code. Um, the new system looks slightly different. Instead, we've got a um, class named component and then router, which implements um, a, a PHP interface. Um, if you want to go the, the or if you want to use a shortcut, um, there's a, a, a base class that implements um, at least uh, one of the three methods uh, um, that you will need and which um, yeah makes it a little bit simpler. It's uh, uh, the one on the bottom, the router base class. Um, specifically, uh, the new interface looks like this. We've got a preprocess uh, uh, method, we've got a build and a pass me uh, method. The preprocess uh, method will uh, allow you to uh, do stuff like uh, uh, finding out the right item ID, making sure that um, your uh, URL um, that, y that you're getting in is complete. For example, uh, it does it, uh, is it missing the alias uh, for, for uh, an article ID or is it missing um, the category ID for um, uh, an article? All the stuff uh, you are supposed to do in the pre-process step. Uh, this pre-process step is also always um, uh, called when, when uh, a URL is sent through uh, the, the Joomla router, um, different to, to the build method. The build method uh, is, is only um, built and parsed, are only called uh, when SEF URLs are enabled. So um, if you uh, want to do something on each, URL uh, that, or, or if you want to process something on each URL um, that you uh, send th through the Joomla router, use the preprocess method. As you can see, it takes uh, an as associative array of uh, the, the URL parameters, um, and it also returns this same array or a similar array. Um, the build method um, is um, the the component name build route function that we have had before. Um, it takes a, a, a query or, or an associated uh, array of uh, query parameters and returns um, an array of uh, segments of the URL. Um, we're going to look at uh, an example of uh, what these segments are uh, uh, later on. And uh, the parse method goes the other way around. It takes the segments and returns an associative array of um, URL parameters. Uh, important to say is uh, that thin, uh, since 
free if you use those class-based routers. Um, you really get the, the uh, vanilla uh, URL um, um, in these methods. Uh, in, the, in the past, we had um, some transformations like the first uh, hyphen was uh, um, changed to a, uh, to a um, double colon. I, I'm not sure what's uh, that in, in English. Uh, uh, but um, so that you could split the ID from, from the alias uh, in, in the URL. Um, this is not done in, in the uh, new router anymore. You have to do this yourself both in, in the parse and in the build uh, step. Um, if we only had those uh, uh, class-based routers, the changes wouldn't really be big and uh, wouldn't uh, uh, really be worthy of getting a, a Josca yesterday evening. <laughs> so um, I also wanted to uh, um, make it possible for developers to develop high-quality um, component routers with uh, as little complex code as possible. Um, for this, we've got the router view class. Um, you can see the whole namespace up there. Um, this class um, transforms uh, the component router uh, to behave like uh, a um, little application router. So basically, if you're uh, uh, looking at this later on, you will see that um, it's kind of like a Matroshka uh, doll. You have um, the big uh, application router on the outside, then in the inside you have got the component router, and uh, in there you have um, your behavior router. Let's call it like this. Um, the, the router view class um, helps you implement um, a, compl a complete component router um, that is also only based on views. So if you um, have an article view uh, or a, a category view or a contact view, um, you can create SEF URLs with this router. What this, the, what this router doesn't do is uh, create any different uh, SEF URLs. So if you has, have a, a task-based URL, um, it doesn't create something nice out of this. Um, the idea behind this is that every um, task different than display will result in a redirect um, to, to a view-based URL. So if we um, edit an article um, in, in the backend, for example, um, you're calling uh, uh, com content with a task um, article.edit. Um, if you then click on that link, you're uh, being redirected uh, to the URL um, of com content with uh, view edit um, and then the ID of uh, um, the article, for example. And this later part uh, we can um, uh, transform into something nice. The first part uh, would be a task-based URL and um, doesn't really make sense to, to uh, create SEF URLs from this. Um, as I said, the, the router view routers are based on, on views. So first of all, we have to tell uh, this router view class um, which views our component has. Um, I'm going to show you uh, the code later on, but you're telling um, this class, okay, I've got um, a categories view, I've got a category view, I've got an uh, article view, and, and uh, whatever you uh, could come up with else. And, um, you're describing uh, not only, okay, we, we have this view, but this view takes um, an ID, or uh, and the, the ID is named X, Y, whatever. And you're also uh, telling the view, um, my, my, um, I'm, I'm going to define this more by another ID that I have. Basically, um, the, uh, the article view, for example, has the ID of the article. It also has uh, the cat ID from the category. And this is uh, the next important step. You're uh, describing the hierarchy between the different views. Um, a category view has a, an articles, um, article view as a child view. And um, yeah, there's a, a last part uh, that I'm going to show best in code later on. Um, so 
you're only describing this hierarchy, and if you don't have any uh, ID-based um, uh, views, like a category view or um, an article view, which are all ID-based, you've uh, got the article ID, you've got the category ID, um, but there are also um, views like uh, the featured view or um, the um, archive view, which are uh, not ID-based. You don't have an ID parameter in the URL uh, when you call them. Um, then uh, for, for, the, for a component with just those views, you would already be done with a new component router. For uh, w um, views with IDs, uh, we have to uh, implement a few methods to, transf uh, to, to transform um, from the segment or the ID that we uh, get um, for this specific view into um, yeah, the segment or ID that we need. Again, something that is best be shown um, on, on uh, the code later on. Um, last but not least, um, this router view class is just a shell. As I said, it's, it's a um, small uh, um, um, application router or component router because inside you can uh, um, have different routing rules or uh, routing behaviors. I've done this talk on the Dutch Joomla day uh, um, already and um, the, 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 the phrase um, routing rules um, was a bit confusing at that time because uh, people expected uh, something like um, in, in, in some frameworks you have just regular expressions uh, which match on different rules and uh, then um, yeah act on that but um, the Joomla routing system, uh, although it calls uh, the rules rules, <laughs> um, they are more like behaviors. Um, for example, we've got the uh, standard behavior um, or standard rule. Um, that rule implements basically everything um, that the core Joomla uh, uh, components um, are, are using in, in their routers. Um, yeah. Now we're uh, coming to, to the next step. Um, there are uh, ways to, to extend your uh, application router, your site router uh, in the front end, or if you want also in the back end, uh, where you can uh, attach uh, behaviors or rules um, to the whole system. This is um, something that was possible since uh, Joomla 1.5, um, but we also allow this now uh, with the component routers. So if you have a, a component router that's based on um, uh, the, the router view class, you can also say, okay, let me get um, the, com um, the component router from um, my, my application router, and then I'm, I'm injecting um, additional rules into this uh, by attached rule, or I'm, I'm saying uh, the standard behavior is not something that I want to use, I'm removing such a rule again by detach rule. Something that I've been doing uh, quite a few times is also uh, augment um, a component router by uh, wrapping um, it in, 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 a, um, in a decorator pattern class um, and then simply replacing uh, the, the component router in the application router. You can say, okay, I want to set um, the component router for com content uh, with my own class and, and replace that on, on a, a yeah, site-wide level. All of this is best be done in, an, uh, uh, in a plugin on, um, yeah, on after initialize so that you're doing this the first moment when, when the application boots up. Um, there are a few things that we shouldn't do anymore. Um, if you remember how uh, the code looked in 3.7, and before that we had, uh, um, for example, the content helper route class, um, where we put in uh, the, the article ID and the category ID, and then it returned a URL with the item ID. Um, we don't want to add the item ID anymore to any URLs. 
um, this is something that the uh, um, component router actually should do. Because um, maybe you're uh, uh, shuffling stuff around, you're um, uh, unpublishing a menu item, and um, the URLs in your content are not updated. They, are still, uh, they still uh, feature the, the old item ID that you had, although uh, you move the content to, to a different part and it actually uh, would be okay if it just didn't have that original item ID. So um, item ID um, outside of the component router is actually a no-no. Um, please don't do this anymore. So uh, if you look uh, um, at the content helper route class, for example, today, uh, in uh, Joomla 3.8, you will see it just simply takes the article ID, the category ID, and um, then uh, meshes them together into a string and, and returns that. You actually don't really need that class anymore. It's just um, yeah, easier to write in, in, in most cases. Um, this is, uh, or, or the, the item ID is something um, that should be um, discovered on the fly in, in the component router and um, which you can easily uh, um, look up there and which is, uh, and, and, and uh, it allows you also to um, change the, uh, this item ID um, with your own code. If you have this in a content helper route class, you can't really, uh, or, or whatever helper route class, you, you can't really um, get to that part anymore. So a um, little bit of history of this feature. Um, I've been, uh, or this bothered me uh, already in 2009. Um, I've worked hard to uh, get some attention for this feature between uh, 2012 and 2014. Um, and and uh, in 2014, I um, did a crowdfunding campaign uh, to, to get a bigger push and, and more people involved in uh, this whole thing. And, and um, yeah, let's, let's get this moving. It took another three years before um, the last parts that um, came out of this crowdfunding campaign were uh, released as part of 3.8. And um, I'm, I'm happy to say that um, all the stuff that's still in, um, that's still not completely right uh, has been fixed in Joomla 4.0. Joomla 4.0 is really great in that regard. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that release. And so um, let me show you some um, code. I've uh, taken the uh, um, component router of uh, com content from um, 3.2, this is. Um, can you read this or is that? No. Okay, then let me. Let me uh, increase the size a little bit more. So you can read the code, right? Okay, so uh, you see um, at the bottom of the screen, we've got the content build route um, function that we had uh, so far. To update such a router to uh, be um, yeah, up to, to the new uh, standard, we simply insert a class definition around this. In this case, content router, because it's uh, the, the content uh, um, component. Let me at the closing bracket down here. And then you see uh, it's uh, complaining. Uh, okay, you can't see that, but uh, um, y you see that it's, com uh, we, you will see that it's complaining about uh, missing, missing uh, uh, methods. This is um, because we still have to rename these two methods. And this one. And basically, that's it. You converted your old uh, component router to um, the new class-based format. Um, and now you can uh, do all the stuff that you um, could do with a standard class in, in, in your code, whatever you want. Um, 
but we've also got um, the router view class. This is the current router that we've uh, uh, got in, in uh, com content. Um, you see we extend from J component router view um, for backwards compatibility reasons. Uh, this has not been namespaced yet. Um, and then we've got a construct. And in that construct you can see um, how the different views are registered in, or, or, um, in, in, in the system. You can see here, this is a categories view. We uh, create um, a configuration uh, object, set the key, and then register uh, the whole thing um, in our router class. Um, the next would be the category view. And you can see that we uh, set the categories view as a parent of the category view. We also say, okay, the category view is something that can be nested. So um, a category view uh, can link to a, another category, a, a, a child category. And that again can link to a child category. The next one would be the article view. And um, this one, okay, um, this one uh, is not nestable, so um, an article can't have another article as a um, child. And down here you see simple stuff like the archived and um, feature, feature view. And then we are attaching the different behaviors. Um, where's my mouse? We are attaching the different behaviors uh, uh, down here um, to, to give the whole routing um, class some, some logic. Uh, basically, uh, this um, line 48 um, inserts the whole discover my right item ID for us. And then um, in line 52, um, we are um, adding the, the standards behavior. And if we didn't find an, uh, a menu item, we are adding the no menu uh, behavior, the, the stuff that's uh, creating component slash content slash and then article and ID, which, which uh, Joomla creates if you have really no item ID at all for this. Um, down here you see uh, um, the, the legacy uh, routing code that we still um, chip around with, with Joomla uh, 3.8 in order to, to be fully backwards compatible because with the new system um, the URLs change a little bit. Um, as I said, when you have ID-based URLs like for um, the category here, you have to create uh, a method to convert from, um, for example, the ID that we hand in to um, the segments that should be part of the URL. For that, we've got, for example, get category segment. This method uh, takes the ID of a, um, in, in this case, uh, um, a category, and it takes um, the whole query that we've uh, discovered so far, or that we processed so far, and it returns an array of um, segments that should be part of the URL from this point onward. This means um, that um, if, if you have a category that is nested, for example, three, four, six levels deep, you return uh, an array of um, all these segments that you would um, add to the URL. And um, yeah, the, the routing uh, class takes care of the rest to, to uh, shorten that to, to the uh, shortest path that you uh, can find from some menu item to the, the end um, content item that you want to display. The other way around, we've got um, down here the get category ID uh, method 
this method um, takes a segment and the query that we got so far and tries to um, decipher um, what ID we've got um, in this case. And um, you can see, for example, here it uh, iterates through all the categories um, that are a child of the current category that we've found so far and then returns just the ID, which will then be part of a, a query that um, the router keeps on processing. Yes, that would be the important part. I want to thank uh, uh, the people that contributed to the crowdfunding campaign. Um, it helped a lot uh, uh, to have some people um, behind you that uh, um, yeah, put up some money to, to um, push forward for this. And um, I promise to never do this again. I have seriously never do crowdfunding for an open source project. Are there any questions? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's something to do with, with this, with what has I done wrong. It's a very basic implementation from the uh, documentation output that I found. Okay. I'm not sure what to look at. Or you you have two categories and uh, a menu item to each of these categories. Exactly. And what I inject is the uh, items view. Okay. Um, I don't really know from uh, up here, so um, le let's look at the code together in, in a minute. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I just wanted yeah. to know if, for instance, when you do filtering by menu item, if uh, the girl wants like different uh, flags, mm -hmm. if there is something else you need to do, or that should get everything. There's actually not something special that you, ha you have to do now, so. Um, Let's let's have a look uh, at the code together later. Thank you. More questions? In that case, thank you. <laughs>